So guys, uh, we all know what uh, happened in, in Worry recently and it's really, uh, really, really pathetic and very, very unfortunate. And as a result, Namde Kano, you know, in his usual way, he has written to uh, UN, uh, US and other countries to see what is happening. These are the things that we've been talking about over uh, over the years that himself has been talking about that people don't really want to listen to him. See what just happened. And there's a video that is going viral about those soldiers claiming, you know, they want to do this to you women in worry. You can imagine that kind of a thing. And according to what Nam Kano said, these people, you know, at uh, the our leaders, all of them, they, 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 they cannot pretend, according to what he said, and which is true, that they cannot pretend that they've not heard about this, uh, this issue of uh, this video that is going viral, that these uh, soldiers are claiming that, oh, because uh, the, the residents of that area, they did this to their soldiers and they are going to do this, they are going to do that. The video is all over the place. That they cannot talk or they cannot behave as if they've not heard about it. And these are the things that have been happening on a daily basis every now and then. Because people are to be locked down at home, you know, they cannot just uh, respectfully or, you know, be matured to say, no, you can't do this, you can't do this. Unless we see, we saw the video of this uh, FCTA man, you know, going about, you know, we enter the church, you say, you know, tell them, this is why you are not supposed to do this. And even if we quote the Bible for them that you guys, you talk about the Bible that you are, you know, that you know this God. And yet you, you don't do, you don't practice what you preach. We know the manner to which the man will address them. And at the end of the day, nobody will be touched. Nobody will be hurt. And man, they will take them away. They will get them arrested. So we have not we not even know whether they have released them. But, you know, we saw from the video that they really handled it in a more matured way. But a situation whereby, you know, every little thing, you bring army to the street. You bring soldiers to the streets. And at the end of the day, they don't even, I don't know whether because of the frustration they go through with these uh, Boko people, they will just come and, they flex their muscles on uh, uh, armless masses, defenseless masses. And he's talking about those who are always talking about, oh, South, South, this thing, South, uh, South, South, uh, Delta, I mean, what, what do they call them? Yes, they call them South, South. He's talking about that. You see what they're doing. That this, there's an agenda for there not to be unity between the South East and South South. So that's why they are separating them. But some people are like, oh, Nande Kano, please, please, all did there. We are not telling you to come and, uh, you know, to tell anybody what is happening on our behalf, that we are going to deal with the situation. Of course, he has already written to them. And it's, we, we have another video of an American doctor that talks about this, uh, what happened in Worry, what the soldier did to a boy, just took, they took the guy's life. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. They will just come and try to flex their power on, or their muscles on, on innocent people. And that's why Namdi Kano has written to them that this kind of a thing cannot be happening. This kind of a thing cannot be happening. And these are the things that people have been complaining about. Those who are at the helm of affairs, they, they, are, they have seen this video. They know what is happening. They know they have heard what happened. What are they going to do? The same thing. I learned that the, the government of Edeta State and Keyamu and others, they say they are going to set up committee, committee upon committee. Why is it that they cannot train these people well? Or why is it that they are even bringing them to the uh, streets? Why is it that they cannot even bring uh, the police? Even the police at times, eh, they see misbehave. They do all this kind of a thing. Why is it that these people are so tense every now, now and then once they go as, you know, they want to, the frustration they are getting from the government, which they cannot even voice voice out and tell the government this is what those are the things that we are going through they will want to put the vest, uh, frustration on the masses they will put the frustration on the masses it's unfortunate when are we going to leave all this is because these guys are not trained they are not well trained whether because of the situation of course the situation in this country is something else that you know that can turn somebody turn one, turn someone's head a lot of people are like oh these people cannot just be real soldiers because we know that the people that have been recruited into the army, we know them, those uh, 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 repentant uh, Boko members. How are we sure that they really repented? How are we sure that they really repented in the first place? And they are, they are bragging, threatening women in that, uh, in, 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 that, in that community that they are going to do this, they are going to do that. It's unfortunate. Honestly, it's unfortunate. And when Namdekano said, when I refer to Nigeria as a zoo, most people misunderstand me. They feel it's an insult. 
These sad events in worry have once again justified my insistence that Nigeria is a zoo or much worse and run by savages sustained by neo-colonialist interests that want to see Africa depopulated by all means. Most people are now beginning to reason that these frequent uh, massacres of Biafrans by the uh, Nigerian soldiers on one hand and Fulani group hmm, is, become, is a well-coordinated and premeditated plot to reduce the population of Judeo-Christian South in preparation for the violent uh, conquest of an uh, Islamic uh, core north. You know, you know, people will just be like, oh, that is not the what that is not what it is. Then if it is not what is what is talking about, then what it is? What is it? What can we call this? What can we really call this? He said that civilized nations are standing idly by as southerners are being uh, as their lives are being taken down on a daily basis. The only solution is the solution of Nigeria. The only avenue is popular resistance by the masses in the south. Hmm. That is just the way it is. That is just the way it is. Honestly, that is just the way it is. Those wondering why people rejoice any time a death is announced in Asso Rock or Nigeria uh, soldiers. Further than the tragedy unfolding in worry since yesterday, all those ignorant people that accepted that the tag South South or Niger Data. I hope you can see the reason why Gowan carved you away from your ego brethren. They did this to weaken us as a political uh, block, so it will be easier for them to do whatever they want to do to us. I don't blame Nigeria or a, a terrorist in uniform. I blame those from Delta State and Southern Biafra, still serving the interests of the Caliphate. When we did learn, Biafra remains the one and only solution to all our problems. Yes, you know, but uh, a lot of people are not really getting it. And as they are saying this since day in, day out, what really happened yesterday? Well, who would have envisaged that these people could really go, you know, to die extent? And now, that is not even the issue, but the video that is going viral going viral now and they are threatening you can you want to tell me that governments uh those who are employed by the government will be saying that will be saying that and does it mean our people or their presidency will they will behave as if they've not heard about this thing what are they going to say about it they are not going to say anything they won't say anything they want to tell me that those individuals they don't know them they are not their uh, the people that are in army, those that have been recruited in the army, in the army, they want to tell us they don't know about all of those people. It's unfortunate. So Namdekano has written uh, to world powers over what happened in worry, you know, the life of a boy that was taken in data state. He has written them, you know, in his usual way. He has written them, but let's see what our government will be doing the state government the state, state government and kayamu and others they are setting up committee they are setting up committee i hope they are still going to set up committee for the video of those Sayami, you know who were threatening in that video they are still going to set committee concerning that all the committee that they, they always said that is just the easiest way so that it will uh, it will look as if uh, or it will look as if they are not doing anything it will look as if as they are not hearing anything but at the end of the day everything will be swept under the carpet you will not hear anything oh my goodness someone who, the person who has gone has already gone they won't do anything they will sweep everything under the carpet you will not even hear anything again believe you me by tomorrow another thing will happen everybody will be running pretty 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 concerning that everybody will forget it you know you know <laughs> something is really wrong some way something is really wrong some way and that's why you see the poor getting poorer the rich getting richer those who will be smiling to the banks, will be smiling to the banks. Those who will be crying of hunger, those who will be crying of many, many things, will be doing that because of this lockdown. The government has not done its part, and now the government itself is partial about this whole thing. They are talking about uh, the sharing formula, the stimulus package. What are we saying? Nothing. And uh, because of this lockdown, somebody has already gone. And I even learned that the guy just get got engaged. I think maybe he, he preparing for his marriage. And, and that's it. That is the end of the whole thing. It's unfortunate. Nothing will happen. And it will not serve as lessons even to these uh, soldiers and police that are always frustrated any little thing. They will see an armless person. They want to, you know, uh, uh, you know, transfer of aggression. Transfer their frustration on the civilians. It's unfortunate. 
I think they are supposed to be trained, you know, psychologically, you know, not to talk because just carry gun, then the next thing you just cock your gun and do whatever. They, you just believe that that is your power to be able to intimidate others. It's unfortunate, honestly. And someone here is talking about, hmm, uh, may God bless you, our leader, Mazen Namdekano, uh, the greatest leader of our time. Another says, I condemn the soldier for killing innocent citizen, for going out to find what to eat with his family. It is quite unfortunate. Instead of soldiers to arrest him and give him simple punishment, he takes law into his hands to end the guy's life. I condole with the family of the disease, one with nine Delta state governments over the death of Joseph Pesu. 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 May he so rest in perfect peace. And someone says here that May God bless our incoming leader. I know sooner all this nonsense of Nigerian police soldiers' harassment will come to an end. Uh, nice one, bro. You have you have said it all. You've done your best. You have said it all, my bro, my boss, the able leader. Uh, someone says here that, that uh, please, my question is, who can tell and interpret in military terms the rule of engagement? It simply means a soldier must not shoot any person who does not carry arm or she is not harmed now a soldier or soldier has no play according to the rule that established him so soldiers or soldiers should be caught a masha you know <laughs> we are going to be speaking english uh let's see the committee that uh the data state government and others you know they are going to set up let's see what will come out of the whole thing at the end of the day i hope a uh, justice uh, they will get justice. The family will get justice, and more so. Let's see what will come up from you know the what a uh, Namdi letter he has written to the UN and other countries. All those uh, word power. Of course, they are listening. They are seeing all of these things. They are seeing all of these things. But when the time comes, those who think that they have power that they can that they can do and undo, we will see, we'll see. So let's hear your opinion. Leave your comment below in the comment section. Thank you very much for always being there. Bye.